welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jackie, by the way. If you guys didn't know, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, comment what you guys see. Now today, we are back with another video. So today we're going to be reacting to the TikTokers versus YouTube fight, not the whole thing. The main event, if you haven't heard about the YouTube versus TikTok, you are living under a rock. It's been all over social media, it's been going back, you know what I'm saying? It's been some behind the scenes heat. If you haven't been watching the interviews, like I said, you're living under a rock. So, but we are here to watch the main event, which is Austin McBroom against Bryce Hall. Now, like I said, it's been a lot of heat behind the scenes. Interviews has been going up. Things has been going down. You feel me? So, today we are going to be reacting to the main event fight. I hope they got some combinations. I hope they come with them heat. I hope they got them gloves going. I hope it's going down. Somebody better catch a T TKO. I'm, I'm not even playing. Like, it's, 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 it's real serious out here. You feel me? So, let's get into it. Let's watch this fight. We're going to react together. My first time watching it. Look, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know too much about boxing. No, I don't tell your friends about me. I don't know too much about boxing. All right? But I just want to see this fight. You feel me? Because it's, it's, it's been all over the world. You know what I mean? I had to jump on and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm looking forward to it because cause it's been a lot of heat. Yeah, so we got we, we got to get on that. So get your popcorn ready. Get your drink. Get the big Pepsi. Not the small Pepsi. Get the big Pepsi. This is about to be a big fight. It is going down. Let's go, man. Let's All right, go. Yeah, we're about to start this video. We're about to get into it. Let's watch this fight. I hope y'all got your popcorn. I hope y'all got the big Pepsi. Let's go, man. All right, start the video now. Let's go. Coming to the ring first, representing TikTok, Bryce Hall. <laughs> Where is his crew? He ain't got nobody behind me. Man, you came out by himself? Bryce came out all alone. Bryce look like he ready. He ready. I'm really surprised he, why he ain't got nobody, no, no food, no water, man, where his people's at? Y'all, like I said, this is the main event, like this is what popped this whole damn card off. Right, he came out alone. You know. Well, I think he understands you can't blow yourself up before the fight starts. He understands that, man. Yeah, I wonder if his coaches right talked him through with this. Like, uh, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes going up to a fight of this caliber to keep your adrenaline down. You don't want all your adrenaline to go out in the locker room and you're not ready to fight. Remember now, after the majority draw with Gibbs and Taylor, Bryce has something to prove before, before going into this. Absolutely, absolutely, 100%. I love Bryce Hall. The kid is always stirring the pot. He sure is, yo. Know, Bryce Hall got a mouth. So that's what I'm saying. If Bryce don't bring this heat, he been bringing heat behind the fucking scenes on these interviews. This guy likes to stir the pot. He know how to get somebody mad. That's what I'm saying. He better, he better bring it. And now, making his entrance to the ring, representing YouTube, Austin McBroom. McBroom. Let's get it. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. Let's see, he brought his family today. He got a whole team behind him. Oh, yeah, 
Hmm, yo, look at this guy though. All that fur, it's hot as shit. I know he gotta be hot. Why would he put all that fur on? You know, no bad, no thing. I don't know, Damn, like where they walking from? That's like a long ass walk. Five two minute rounds for bragging rights. Who is the best in the ring? The three judges scoring. Oh, this nigga Lorenzo Lorenzo Hunt. Hunt. Like, it's a joke. This Coach is not a joke. Like it's time to and put your big boy drugs on. What are you doing? Bell, your referee, Big Chris Edgehill. And now the officials oh, are he's the ready. The fighters are in the ring and they are ready. YouTube, TikTok, fight fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to rumble! Let's get let me see if I can like Let's get ready to Wearing red and black. Official weight. 165. Price is real taking it real light. Like he is. An outstanding 20 million TikTok followers. Born in Maryland and now living, training, and fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, the self-proclaimed bad boy of Sway House. Oh. 
And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing YouTube, wearing black and orange, and officially weighing in at 172.4 pounds. He brings 19 million YouTube subscribers, a native of Palmdale, California, USA, recognized as the founding face of Ace Austin McBroom. 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 Eight. The crowd is ready. I must say the crowd is ready. They ready. That's what I'm saying. They better bring the heat. Commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. If you're in a knockdown, go to the corner I tell you to go to, and we're gonna call you out. And most importantly, keep it clean. Touch them up. All right. I was not expecting a touching of the gloves there. To be honest with you. But here we go, guys. I'm After excited. Our main event. Your main event. <laughs> I'm freaking out right now. I cannot wait. There's been so much build up to There's this moment yeah, right man. now. How do you guys feel, right? Like you guys know these people. You know them through and through. What's my the... heart's out of my chest right now. Honestly, <laughs> you don't understand the pressure. Like there's been so much that went into this. So many different storylines. So much trash talk. We're gonna find out right now. Oh, here we go. Wow. Austin and Here we go. Orange trim. Yeah, Bryce Hall in the red and black. Awesome, smiling at him early. Yeah. Immediately, I like this stance of McBroom a little better. Bryce Hall said he's been sparring four to five times a week. Let's go, I see Bryce that don't hit. Let's go. It's the best thing these guys can do, right? It's all about experience. The more sparring, the better. Mm. Austin's been used to coaching with, with other sports and everything else. Bryce Hall. Oh, oh. Austin got in trouble. All right, so they grew a little on Bryce Hall as they broke up. Bryce Hall's been in over 40 street fights. Oh. Very interesting. So he does bring a little experience to, the, to this ring, right? Anytime there was an influencer meetup, Bryce Hall got in a fight with another influencer. It happened so many times, I, I couldn't even tell you. Austin McBroom, a former NCAA basketball yeah. player, said his dream was to play in the NBA. Ooh. Ooh. Big, oh, big left hand by McBroom. Wow, which explains why Austin's footwork is looking so nice right now. Paul immediately Ooh. trying to tie up. You got a point taken. Pick him up, keep the queen. And then the fucking point. That's sick. That's sick! You heard that, man? Bryce to stay composed at this time. So the referee just took a full point away from Bryce Hall. Well, it looked like he was going in there and he's doing more of a full contact MMA type of style, right? That is not what we're doing here. Well, that's Bryce. I mean, that's... <laughs> mm. We talk about the street fights. He wants to tackle people. This ref can stop this fight. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't. I already see blood pouring out. Clean. He's scared, right? That's why he's tying up. He's getting hit really hard. He's scared on his hip. The fear in his eyes. Another big left hand. If he doesn't live, live in the rough Hey, guys, there's a million dollar bet on the line here. They bet wait, wait. each other one million dollars. I'll be honest. I'll they bet each other one million dollars? Why they put me in this shit? Well, not a bet. Oh, well, not a bet. Mm. Mm. What? I need a million dollars right now. They're just giving shit away. I need it. So a knockout or a TKO, does that pay too? I think it was TKO, I believe, in my knockout. Knockout in my interview. Okay, so it's has been knockout. But if you look around, you see how the entire arena has pushed up. I mean, this is insane. The craziest thing I saw when Bryce was in this corner, Austin's team was literally yelling at him from ringside, trying to get into his head, when trying to make him lose his score. Hey, strategy, baby. That's strategy. And here's right there that McBroom didn't like what Bryce Hall was doing. And he said, he's grabbing me. So then right after that is when Bryce had a point deducted because, again, he would just go in and then that you cannot do. No. Not right. MMA, guys. We got to keep it clean. Keep it clean. 
Again, this main event, big. five rounds, two minute Please. rounds. Bryce Hall already go. had a point deducted. That first round looked like it was clearly to Austin McBroom. Well, so possibly that round is a 10 8 round, right? With the point being taken. No doubt. That's what I judged on, on the unofficial scorecard. Dang, you got a mighty so space. Going the way I thought Ooh! Austin would lead, but Bryce is a tough kid. Bryce is not even swinging that much. Like, what is he really doing? Yeah, yo. He's not even hitting that much. He better fucking stop swinging, boy. His quickness is clearly in the Yeah, he's real quick. Austin is moving and swinging. He's moving the hands. He's just moving. The speed of Austin is moving. His footwork is amazing, and this is exactly what Bryce had to worry about coming in. This is deep waters for all. Deep waters. Bryce should be thankful that hook did not land. I know his head is spinning like a bitch. And Bryce's head is spinning. Cause that motherfucker get hit hard in the head. I'm getting busy looking at his ass. Boy, he better, boy, he better, boy. He's going for the million. He's going for the million. There's so much on the line tonight for these guys. And they're really pushing through this final fight. Well, Bryce Hall does have to pay the Oh, he snuck a hit and he ain't had to do that. Bryce is sneaking hits, man. Yeah, these boxing commissioners, they're used to, you know, those professional high-level fights. This is a no-nonsense ref. Well, it's not a secret. Bryce got paid $5 million for this. So if he has to pay the million, he's still up. Oh, a big straight left hand. Austin's smiling. All right, they're giving him a stand. Austin is smiling like... <laughs> Dude, I'm good, bro. I'm good, I'm good. Let me fight. Huh? Right? And that's the end of the second round, but in the, in the good judge's dude. eyes, that's the end count. Had to give the round to McBrook. Yeah, I'm son. 100%. And you just see how tough this guy is. I mean, he's sitting there arguing with everybody. Look at fucking Jada the whole guy. Fight. Ooh. Oh, my God. What did you see here in the second round? Oh, the did you see that again? Right? That really shit went blue away from the face. That's what I'm saying. Fucking Bryce Hay got to be spinning. This shit got to be spinning. How many times he got hit in the face? He's got more power. He's got more quickness. Who's what do you see? Man, I see Bryce Austin taking Bryce control right now. Bryce got his hands up, but he ain't going to let him. He's starting to see the blood coming out of the nose of Bryce Hall. As we head into round number three. So far, Bryce has a chin. He can take a punch. Now, if those ounces were different, I don't know if it would be the same story. Yeah, that's right. If those, if those Ooh, gloves were smaller. Okay. Let's get into Bryce it. Starting off strong with that body Ooh. shot. That Ooh. shot. Austin coming back. Clinched up. Oh, Ooh. he is throwing from left field. Ooh. Now, a problem there, right? A little mistake on Rick Room's part. Just because you're tied up, you can still punch there. Until the ref separates you, it's still Looks like Bryce has turned the gas on. I, I, you know, it's that fight or flight response, right? He realizes he's in trouble and he needs to turn it up if he wants any chance to win yeah, this fight. He's reacting to what's being thrown at him right now. He's not trying to control the narrative at all at this point. They're kind of looking tired, though. If, if he would pull punches together and not keep throwing these wannabe knockout shots, he would finish it. He would get the knockout he's looking for, but you got to set it up. This is a kid fucking dunking and shit. McBroom really looks like he's enjoying himself <laughs> thus far. You know, once you smell blood, then you just feel, feel what it feels like to be a fighter. We are more than halfway through the scheduled five rounds. You know, earlier we talked about how nobody wanted to fight Taylor Holder. Well, it is the exact... Oh, damn. We got him right in the face. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. Oh, look at him! Look at fucking Bryce! He needs this ain't count. He needs it. He's a refocus. This dude just got hit. Clear shot right in the fucking face.
That's it. That's it. That, get this shit out of here. Get this shit out of here. This guy looks so confused. He wasn't even throwing no punch. I know. He wasn't even throwing no punches. The guy is getting hit right in the face. All right, look at his face. Look at Austin. Austin is so good. Congratulations. Because now he gets a million dollars. Was it a good stoppage? Clearly, McBroom was in control. I see that absolutely that was a good stoppage. We have to remember. He get a million dollars now. He don't want to fight. It's over. That was a good stop. He was taking a lot of damage. Look at this guy. Just looking the way he There can't be too much debate. Clearly, Austin was going to get the knockout. It wasn't going to change. The direction of this fight was. And Bryce was looking tired too. Like Bryce wasn't even throwing no fix or nothing. This nigga just fucking got his hit. Maybe you give him one more. I don't know. But I'm, I'm interested to see what Bryce has to say right now. Because I saw when it was stopped, he looked really angry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Bryce knows how to start the fight and win the fight and then got beat the fuck up. That ain't right. This guy, this guy's going to be very angry. This is going to get very heated in this interview. All right, I want to go quickly and take a look at the final punch stats presented by Stat Hero Survive the Game. And mm, it's look very, at that. very one sided, guys. Absolutely. If Bryce Hall is upset, then he wasn't in the same fight that we were watching. <laughs> well, Bryce Hall is uh, one of those kids that just never wants to give up. You know, Logan Paul said it best. Logan Paul was doing an interview. He was asked about Bryce Hall, and he said, I love Bryce Hall to death. He goes, but he's really good at losing. He loves fighting, but he's really good at losing. I don't know. I, I just don't Austin know. This fight. Well, Austin McBroom was the favorite. Austin took the fight. It's over. And he proved tonight it's exactly over. why the sports books had a favor. Here's the end of the fight. Fight in the face. You guys think the stoppage was good? I, I think Bryce was getting tired too because that was a clear oh, shot. Oh, right, right in the face. Of course you but I, I, I know he said his fucking spinning. Bryce and his going. It's just spinning. He better go home and take an ice bath. He better go home and get some Tylenol or something. Because I know he's going to be fucked up. Look at that, bro. Look at that. It's over here. That's it. Qualified. That's going to be the storyline right there. But clearly, Austin McBroom won. Yeah. He was the class of the field. He was the class of the And Austin, in the interviews, Austin was calm as shit, though. That's that's one thing. In the interviews, fucking Bryce talking his shit. And then Austin, in the interviews, was calm. Just look. Like we just listening, but you know there be them calm ones that come with the heat. Then you got this chat about over here talking up a storm, and he going to bring it and do this stuff. This is what I'm talking about. His face looks just as pretty as before. Look at his face. Austin ain't got no damn marks on him. Looking good. Look at that. And then Bryce, just look at his face. What a face to look at. He can't show that face up. He can't go back to this playhouse like that. It's over. You're going to get kicked out. It's done. And just like it's any over. They don't want you back. Boxing event, you've got Michael That's it. You got to go. You can't be the leader no more in this playhouse. Please. Well, around. well the ring looks great. packed, but that's just the McBrooms. There's so many of them. Bryce they have a reason to celebrate. Each one of them won tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, Land Landon was dynamic. All right, it's time Bryce. for the official Bryce. announcement of the winner of our main event. Let's send it back up to Michael Buffer. Like the sportsmanship. Very nice. A round of applause for the two fighters in the ring and all the fighters here tonight, along with our great night of entertainment. Look at Charlemagne the guy. Nice sportsmanship, though. Time, That's what really matters, the sportsmanship. Are you guys watch this thing? You ain't shit. At 45 seconds, round number three, the winner by TKO victory from Team YouTube, Austin. Yes. Oh, Austin took it. You took the game. You took it. It's over. Nice. Buried their beef, plenty of respect, and that's what you like to see. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to building up a fight, when it comes to selling a fight, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. That is all I have for today. It was a good fight, it was a good fight, but you know, my man Bryce, he could have hit, he could have, you know, he could have threw a little bit more heat out there, but he didn't. So, I'm saying, he was a trash talker behind all the interviews and everything. He talked up a storm, you feel me? That's what he does. You know how to get a reaction out of somebody. 
Austin played his card. He was quiet. He was chill. He was laid back. And then he comes to the ring and then he, he came with the heat. I don't, I don't know what happened to Bryce. I don't know. I called him and told him, like, yo, I thought, I thought you was ready. And then you go in there, you do this. And then, you know, he always got a story to tell. But you know what? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know. I didn't have my money on anybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, subscribe if you haven't. Like, share, comment. If you're not subscribed, you're doing something wrong. Tell a friend to subscribe. And let's go. Like I said, I'll see you on the next video. I'm out. That fight was good. I'm going.